So if we want to understand about tests, it helps to start with test scores and z-scores and ask what they are. So let's start with the nature of obtained test scores. Um, this is the score that you get on when you take a test. Um, a test score is your total score and it's usually indicative of some level of performance on a test or some kind of a level on a test that you've obtained and it's indexed by a number on a scale. The scores are usually obtained uh, as the test uh, scorer looks through individual items, individual responses to items on the test um, and scores them like how many are correct or incorrect and then adds them together. But there are other more complex variations on this. For example, individual responses can carry different weights like if you're taking a test in a class and the professor says, hmm, this problem is worth twice as much as the other, then uh, that problem that's worth two times as much is going to be added in twice, in essence. So notice that different tests are going to yield different uh, numbers, different kinds of scores or levels of scores. In essence, they appear on different scales. So a 30-item multiple choice test is going to yield scores from 0 to 30, whereas a 20-item test using a four-point Likert scale, remember a Likert scale is a kind of a scale that goes uh, how much do you agree with something on a four-point scale, um, that could yield scores that range from 20 to 80. Test scores can be converted to z-scores. And one reason to do that is to correct for the fact that the test's original scores may be recorded on different scales. The conversion to z-scores puts the scores, the original scores, on a common scale, such that, the, such that the scale has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. After the scores are converted, all the scales can then be compared on the same metric. That is, scores on two different tests perhaps that were scored from 0 to 30 in one case, or from 20 to 80 on a different case, can be directly compared. Z-scores also offer a means of calculating the correlation between two tests. At one time or another, almost every psychological test has its original obtained scores converted to Z-scores. That may be during the test's development, or during research with the test, or during everyday use of the test. Z-scores are a near universal language of test scores. And that's it.